have something very interesting to share with you regarding tremors. I found something that's quite fascinating. A lot of times tremors are misdiagnosed with Parkinson's when you don't necessarily have to have Parkinson's to have tremors. There's a type of tremor called a central tremor, which is more progressive into a, a bigger problem over time. And that's aggravated when you move versus a resting tremor, which you're you're resting and you're, you're having this tremor going on. And I found the author of this patent was a neurologist. So obviously they knew something about tremors. And so I studied it and I found something fascinating I wanna share with you. If you take high doses of vitamin B2 and high doses of coenzyme Q10, apparently you can improve this symptom greatly but in this document, I could not find the mechanism of why that would help someone. So that was just the start of my research in this area, and I did a whole deep dive into it, and I found something even more interesting. I found the mechanism of why these two nutrients would work and what amounts you would need to take to create a positive effect. There's a high correlation between mitochondrial diseases Okay, mitochondria is the energy factor of the body and movement disorders. You see, your nervous system requires a tremendous amount of energy. So it requires very healthy mitochondria. And when someone has neurodegenerative diseases or pathologies or anything related to that, they're usually going to have a dysfunction in the mitochondria. And so the question is, what does vitamin B2? And coenzyme Q10 have to do with the mitochondria? Well, a lot. The mitochondria is all about turning food into energy, ATP. ATP is like a battery. In the process of breaking down food into energy, there is a compound, like a carrier thing on the assembly line that extracts energy out of food. It extracts electrons. It helps carry electrons through this assembly line. And so both coenzyme Q10 and B2 are essential for the carrier of electrons. The name of the carrier of this is called FAD. What's interesting about FAD is like, there's not a lot of people talking about FAD, but there are a lot of people talking about NAD. You can even get that as a supplement and that helps the mitochondria work better. It's good for anti-aging. It's good for fixing the mitochondria. It's good for giving you energy. It's good for a lot of things. And people take NAD all the time. And the precursor for that is vitamin B3. But this FAD needs vitamin B2. And then if you look deeper into what vitamin B2 really does, other than help the mitochondria work better, it has everything to do with supporting fatty acids the membrane around the nervous system called the myelin sheath. And when people are grossly deficient in B2, they have all sorts of neurodegeneration problems. They have neuropathologies. They have swelling in the nervous system. They start losing the myelin sheath around the nervous system. Another condition is called MS. They can have exaggerated reflexes and they can also have dementia. Now, if you've ever heard of a B2 deficiency and like what it creates, uh, a lot of times people might associate like taking B2 for migraine headaches and stuff like that. But anything neurological would be another reason to take it. This B2 acts as a precursor to help protect the mitochondria. That is why vitamin B2 is necessary to help correct tremors. Now, what about coenzyme Q10? Well, coenzyme Q10 does the same thing. It helps you transport these electrons, helps you build the battery, it helps more energy in the mitochondria. But when someone actually takes something like statins, which is with something that blocks cholesterol, they're going to be deficient in coenzyme Q10. And they're going to have all sorts of neurological and muscular symptoms because of it. So if someone is on a statin, boy, they better take coenzyme Q10. Because if they don't, they're going to have a lot of side effects. But what I did is I did a deep dive into all the side effects from statins and take a wild guess what other symptom I found from taking statins. Tremors. This is what I want you to try. And then after you try this, go ahead and comment down below and tell me how it worked out. You're going to take 
high amounts of vitamin B2. I would recommend you take about 800 milligrams per day, split it up into two portions, 400 in the morning, 400 before you go to sleep. What about coenzyme Q10? I recommend taking higher amounts of that as well. You want 1,000 milligrams per day. Maybe take 500 in the morning, 500 in the afternoon. So go ahead and try that and comment down below. And we also want to address the actual diet that may have set you up for deficiency in the first place and to know exactly what to eat to fortify your body with all the right nutrients. I put that video right here. Check it out. Hey, before you leave, I just wanted to give you a little quick history on some of the books that I wrote. This was one of the first books. It's called Dr. Berg Body Shapes. It was my attempt at um, writing about body types. Uh, what was very interesting about this book is I actually did all the images myself. Uh, don't ask me why. Um, they look actually not quite as professional as some of the uh, images that I have in the new book. But anyway, this is my first attempt right here called Dr. Berg's Body Shape Diets. Uh, and then I wrote a book um, more extensive called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. I don't even have a copy anymore, actually, um, because it's outdated. Uh, the next book, uh, I put about a thousand hours into this one right here called The New Body Type Guide, Major Updates on the Body Types. Uh, I put a lot of energy into this. Uh, it has professional images, graphics, all sorts of things. Now, the problem with this book is it doesn't really describe what this is really about. Body types are only a small portion of what's in this book. And that's why I changed the name to the Healthy Keto Plan, okay? If you happen to have this book, you don't really need this book because there's some only very, very minor updates. But if you don't have this, you need to get this one right here. Um, this book goes into every single detail that you would ever wanna know about. It goes into the seven principles of fat burning. It goes into hormones, uh, the body types, the basic keto plan. It goes into intermittent fasting. I talk about the 10 fat burning triggers and blockers and fat burning strategies with a lot of details in every single chapter. I go into body issues that interfere with losing weight. Um, there's very few people that just have a weight problem. They have a lot of body issues, whether it's sleeping problems, uh, stress problems, inflammation, menopause. I cover that extensively in this book. Then I talk about how to get rid of stress and I show you a technique. Uh, then I get into exercising. And then I have a lot of really good recipes in this book as well. So uh, this is a good reference guide. Um, on my website, if you get this book, you get this one free. It's called Healthy Keto Intermittent Fasting. This is the shortcut, uh, quick guide to this book. And uh, the reason I created this book is to have you within 45 minutes learn how to do keto, okay, in intermittent fasting, exactly what you need to do. Then you can fill in the blanks with this book right here. So right now I'm doing a special. If you get this book, you get this one totally free, or you can go to Amazon and get these individually. So I just want to clarify the difference between this book and this updated one right here. If you don't have this, you need to get this right here. That way you can get the exact correct information to do it healthily.